to commemorate one of their own, the Murray Chapter of the Daughters of American Revolution Society held a luncheon to honor Price Doyle and his wife Lori and their contributions to Murray State. The dinner event was held at the Willow Bistro Restaurant, which was originally built by the Doyles and the home of a number of things throughout the years. This is our very first DAR colonial dinner. It's also the first one in the state. Um, this lovely house that we're in was built by our uh, chapter, one of our chapter founders and one of the university's music professors who, whose name uh, is Price Doyle of the Price Doyle Fine Arts Complex. So uh, this is something that we wanted to do, bringing in the, the DAR, the university, and the community, and history, and education, and uh, patriotism. The Doyles wore several hats, not only on Murray State's campus, but also in Murray's community. Mrs. Doyle uh, was a registrar for 18 years. She had 11 members of her family that were proven Revolutionary War veterans. She did several books on various families in Callaway County. So she was an authority. She died at the age of 102. He was a music professor. He was an internationally known music professor. So he really had a, a big impact on uh, the, the music department, the fine arts department, and the university. For the meal, the society dined on traditional colonial food. These are some of the foods that would have been prevalent uh, in George Washington and Thomas Jefferson's time. We're having uh, chicken uh, in orange sauce. We're having crab cakes, uh, salad, fall vegetables, and a, um, ginger, a, a gingerbread with ice cream for dessert. There was also a performance by Phi Mu Alpha Music Symphonia, which was founded at Murray State by Price Doyle. First thing we're going to do is we're going to have uh, the Phi Mu Alpha uh, Music Symphonia to sing, and their chapter was founded by Price Doyle. Price Doyle, like I said, you know, we didn't obviously get to meet him, but we know all about him. We look up to you know his morals and everything, and he charted us and. You know, we just we just love to you know do the best we can in the community to you know make him proud. I guess so. What Murray State students may not realize is the impact people like the Doyles and other American Revolutionary families had on Murray State's campus. I'd like the uh, students to know how many buildings on campus have DAR connections, starting with the Stubblefield Gates. Uh, one of our members, that's her grandfather. We have the Price Doyle Building, of course. We have the Waterfield Library, who was named for Harry Waterfield, but his ancestor was Peter Waterfield, a Revolutionary War veteran who's buried in Callaway County. Then we have the Blackburn Science Building. We have Hester Hall. We have Hart Hall. We have Springer Hall. We have Woods Hall. We have Mason Hall. Mason named for two local doctors, both of whom their daughters joined our chapter of the DAR. So the tie between the DAR and Murray State is quite unique. And students now are making themselves a part of its unique history. And that's what I would like uh, the Murray State students to know, the history and that they are part of that history.